Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 4 group D at this year's AFCON where we feature two heavyweights. We feature Nigeria which I've been wearing a lot for the last uh, year's AFCON and now of course the new kings of Af the kings of Africa with my new Egypt jersey the one from 2010 the one with the pharaoh that I recently got and as I said I have never been uh, that actively supporting Egypt uh, in fact for me they were more like the Germany of Africa uh, but this jersey was always a nice one because you have some Egyptian heritage in there which mostly has uh, been missing so as usual for other videos I'm run through the four teams we look at the jerseys I got all my pictures from footy headlines and I got our RSA for uh, at least one if not two nations here the pictures are not all that great which just happens unfortunately for the AFCON but I'll do my best to comment anyway rather nicely and we actually start with the what I call the kings of Africa Egypt the seven time winners with their new home effort actually I think it was released last year already by Puma again crafted by culture uh, this one unlike most of the sub-saharan teams works really 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 well what I love here is that you take a red jersey you have the black maybe we could have left it all red but then you have a pattern in there that is uh, maybe not Egyptian, you know, it would be nice to have hieroglyphs, but there is some kind of um, pattern that goes back to the culture. You know, you have the Nile in there, you have the sun in there. Uh, I guess there are some other patterns here, you know, I would love to know. <laughs> I should have maybe researched that more. That really, really works for me very well. This is probably one of the better crafted by culture kits and i have to be honest if i wouldn't have been able to get this one uh the only other two kits that i've been considering were the 2012 one where there are really hieroglyphs all over and uh this one the one thing that always bugs me with egypt is the slightly weird looking crest uh first of soccer ball is never a good start and but then the weird shape with the egyptian flag and what's in there you the pharaoh put a pharaoh up there I would opine there but other than that uh, this is one of my favorite jerseys at this year's AFCON uh, to me it is a uh, straight nine stars to be honest um, and then the away jersey does the same thing uh, in white with red sleeves and here we get actually an all white uh, look so we don't have a red uh, shoulder which I think works quite well this is another one that's really really nice again the crest drags it down but other than that, very nicely done. I, I do love this one, uh, another nine star effort. Uh, here Puma has done an outstanding job. Puma, as we all know, are uh, the most frequent suppliers at this year's AFCON, as usual in Africa. Then we go uh, to another, uh, company, um, another smaller team in Guinea-Bissau, Portuguese speaking country, who have Guisport as their supplier. Um, and again, yeah, a red jersey, as I will, would expect, but I love, it's similar to what Umbro has been doing uh, for Zimbabwe, that there are these patterns in there, but they're only popping up here and there. Now, I cannot tell from the model if the collar is just very deep and he is wearing a uh, white undershirt, shirt, which is what I would assume. Um, or if, I mean, if this is really white, it would look uh, downright weird. But overall, I do like the design quite some. Uh, this is a pretty nice shirt or uh, maybe the color combination. Just I think the green tone just does not work super for me. But I think for effort, I want to give this a seven. Uh, the away jersey in green, I think is even better. I totally love the color here. And you know, then they have the pattern come, 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 come up. Uh, that's really nice. I actually, this one, I want to give eight. And then the third church is a little bit more straightforward affair. And from here, I actually think that um, I, 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 was, I was right. This is a white, not a white undershirt. This is the color, so this looks really weird. Here, it actually looks uh, all, all right. This boomerang. Um, the only thing is that the pattern in the middle really interferes with the number. That should not be, in my opinion. Uh, but other than that, I actually like the uh, yellow with the red and a little bit. Uh, it looks black, but it's green thrown in there i also want to go seven with this one ah we have also a fourth shirt <laughs> i forgot about that one um 
those are a little bit so again with the number there's a little bit too much interference but the pattern can't continue so there's some consistency there but i gotta say this is almost my least favorite of these although it doesn't look bad either uh, let's go six here uh the next one is nigeria this was one of the outstanding releases uh that everyone got crazy about when it was released uh i think i want to say even late 2019 I remember the, uh, it's, it, 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 this kit is out for quite a while. I think uh, recently I could have even gotten it for relatively cheap, but I decided to go with South Korea because I have already have a Nigeria shirt that I consider a little bit, uh, uh, that I consider this is a better. Now, what I do like about this, that it actually kind of mimics the Nigerian flag, green, white, green, but the pattern is too wild for me. And I've said it in last year's, my top 10 churches, this is not in there because the pattern is way too wild for me. Uh, and it's also inconsistent. You have kind of um, up until the belly button, it is one pattern and then it completely breaks and something else goes. Now, I do like that there are some, I, again, calling tribal patterns, I should call them maybe cult culture, but that this is in there. And the patterning on the sleeves is a little bit um, uh, weird as well. And it doesn't nicely connect up with the rest of the jersey. But you know, I don't mind it but i actually think if there's a little bit more consistency in there uh we don't need to go all in it's similar to puma and for that reason uh, this was never my favorite jersey what saves this one that i think the colors are very ple pleasing although there are, are there three three or two green tones that's the only question that i have on this one but yeah um I don't really know. I think it's a six star from 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 me, but but I wouldn't go higher. Uh, I actually do like the third jersey. Uh, I don't know the away jersey, a uh, teeny bit better because this one actually um, it is simple and it has still does the kind of the graphic from the previous uh, jersey on there. I actually do like that quite some. Uh, the dark green also works well and in a full color. Still, the crest is not full color, uh, but um, it is kind of, you have the eagle still there, so it kind of stands out. This is actually well done. Um, that one, I've been looking at uh, for a few, 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 few times. I do like this one and I'm gonna go eight stars for this one. And now we go to Sudan where, um, you know, Sudan is one of the t uh, original members of um, CAF uh, that have not been fe fe featuring quite a lot. Um, I don't have better, better picture. We always see it on, 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 you know, we see the model and then a little bit to the, uh, on the chest, but I gotta say Solo Sport, another uh, company that we have not seen too often. Social Sport had actually delivered something very interesting. You take the red, red color and you have a patterning in there. And I think this might be as good as it gets in many ways. Uh, it also keeps the shirt very, very similar. There's nothing overthought, although I see a little bit on the sleeve cuff there might be some additional branding. Uh, as I said, I cannot judge from much, but I have to say whenever this pop popped up, I have to say, I did like it. So I'm, I want to give this, uh, with benefit of a doubt, uh, an eight star rating. Uh, the away jersey, of course, is just white. I don't even see if there's a patterning on there, although, um, you know, nothing wrong there, but also not very exciting. So um, f I cannot really tell much. I'm going to give this a five. The cheetah, of course, is the outstanding feature on this shirt. <laughs> it's the logo. So yeah, we had two, three teams with two jerseys and one with four. So quite some jerseys to talk about. So I would like to know which jerseys in here did you like and where do you agree and disagree with me on my rating? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!